Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sastrikal. Welcome back to another session with your war chef at warewa.com. Today I am going to show you a kind of a stew in which we are going to use lot of lamb bones with little meat attached to it and uh, cook it into a nice saucy consistency. We call it as a dapadam and some people call it as a kind of a curry. To make this lamb stew, add 1 tablespoon of oil, little bit of uh, cinnamon, cloves, cardamom and shahi jeera and add bay leaf, add onions, just saute the onions, you do not need to brown them too much, add ginger garlic paste, pinch of turmeric, salt, green chillies and uh, curry leaves and then just mix it. To this add this lamb bones. Just uh, saute this lamb for few minutes and add uh, water, add uh, chilli powder and uh, add 1 tablespoon of coriander powder and let it cook for 5-6 whistles till the time all the juices from these bones come out and makes this a very delicious curry. One important thing for this preparation is you let these bones cook little more than your normal uh, meat preparation and as soon as you remove this add half a cup of tamarind juice and add uh, water and then add uh, coconut powder and uh, once you add this coconut powder just bring it to a boil. You can see that I added a lot of water now this is boiling and uh, you have to make sure that this meat is really cooked this is very soft. This is when you add the rice paste. What we did is we soaked rice, we made it into a nice paste and then you got to mix it before you add so that it does not form lumps. Add to this uh, boiling liquid. Okay. Just like how we add roux to a lot of sauces, we are going to add this. After you add this rice paste, bring it to a nice boil and that is when we are going to add little garam masala and coriander leaves. Now you can see this, this has become like a nice soup. The consistency is uh, not too watery, but it is not too thick either. The amount of tamarind you add to this uh, sauce should be very minimal. It gives a kind of a tinge, but it should not make this sour. Now this is perfect. Here is my awesome dapadam. Ah, oh, it's um, it's got such nice flavors. And the spicy too. Ah. Oh. Perfect. This is another preparation that goes excellent with your jawarki roti, pulka, even chapati. But uh, nothing like eating this with uh, rice and uh, this spicy little bit of tangy lamb stew. Dear friends, I hope you have enjoyed to learn how to make this awesome lamb stew, what we call dapadam or kadi with your war chef at vareva.com. But remember, vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So, please post your recipes and cooking tips at vareva.com so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you.